Hey! Hello everyone, this is Reckless Wit, and I am playing... Oh, hopefully. <laughs> a game remade that is from a younger me. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX! Which I'm really excited to actually be playing, because it's like, um, I love... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Or Red. I played Red. I played a few others. Um. I'm actually. Oh, there's like a little admire and illustration mode. You gotta hold it though. Okay. That's. Eh. But that's cool. I like that. Does that mean they shift through? Probably. I mean, that would mean there's more than just the one. Welcome! This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Okay. There is a bucket. If you put water in it, how much will you fill it? Man, I really like to drink water, so... But I'm not drinking all of it. Huh. Probably full. Well, what do you mean full, though? Like, will it slosh around? Ah, uh, there's too many factors. Full, though. <laughs> Even if it sloshes, I'll have more than if I had it half. The road forks to the right and left. You are told there's a treasure on the right side. What do you do? Um. I mean, eh, it's treasure, it's treasure. Guess we're going right. <laughs> do you like to noisily enjoy yourself with others? Uh, for the most part, I would say... I don't know. I feel like I can be pretty noisy. We can also be pretty quiet, depending on what we're doing. We're watching movies. We're going to be... Well, now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with yes. <laughs> Grab any digit on your left hand with your right hand. What the crap? Um, any? Okay. Thumb's not a finger. Little finger, though. You come across a treasure chest. How do you react? Uh, it could be a trap. Do you like to imagine things from your for your amusement? Yeah, I got a vivid imagination. On vacation outings, you want to? I would rather go with others. Do you occasionally consider yourself dull and overly cautious? Not necessarily, no. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? Was this... Oh, okay. So in the original one, this impacted like what you could actually play as. Like I think Eevee was just for girls. Which I was like... That's lame and stupid. <laughs> and I forget which the boy was. Probably the Ryolu, maybe. So let me choose what I want to be. I choose you should be... I choose me! <laughs> you appear to be... The lonely type. What? what? You always act cheerful and jocular around other people. But that's only because you are with other people. However, when you're alone, do you find yourself feeling oddly depressed? That's why you always want to be with others. It's not good to go around feeling depressed too much. Why don't you call up a friend instead? Just remember, it's not a bad thing to feel lonely. You know what's you know what it's like when you aren't alone, so that's why you feel lonesome. And that's why you aren't really alone. A lonely person like you should be. The Pokemon Cubone. Screw you, Game Freak and Chun Soft. No, I don't want to be a Cubone. It's a cool Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like to be? You give me a choice, I'm going to take a Cyndaquil. Why would I not? Screw all these other Pokemon. Any game that's going to let me be my favorite starter is going to be the one I choose. Cubone's cool. I get that. I think it's neat to have a non-starter character as your actual starting starter, if that makes sense. Like, whenever I see a Pokemon game, it's like, okay, you can choose. I wish it would let me choose on, like, a Cubone, a Meowth, a Skitty, a freaking Eevee. A Machop. Or a Psyduck. That would be so much cooler than all this. But I really, really enjoy a Cyndaquil. It looks cool. It's awesome. Who could not love this little flaming hedgehog? I do appear to be this Pokemon. Yes, that is me. <laughs> Don't you ever call me out like that ever again, video game. This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. 
Who will be your partner? I will choose this Cubone as my partner. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Should your partner be a boy or a girl? Wow, that's actually different. Like, in the first one, it was very much like you just chose one. The gender wasn't really specified. Um, that's neat, actually. Does that impact all of them? So any of them could be boy and any of them could be girl. That squirrel looks like it's dancing. <laughs> that's very interesting. Would that, in fact, impact certain Pokemon? Like, the only one it would probably impact is Pikachu, right? Maybe Eevee? With, um, female and male differences? So a girl Cubone, right? Yes. What is your partner's nickname? Oh, dang it, I gotta name Pokemon. Uh... Okay. One second. Okay. Carly the Q-Bone. Now I'm doing this. <laughs> Is Carly alright for a nickname? Sure, Carly's cool. Huh. You know, technically... Let me choose again. I have another choice. I want to be my Cyndaquil, yes. Girl. Yes. Let's see. Where is it? This is an odd style of doing the keyboard, like just having all of it splayed out. Whitney. <laughs> There we go. Is Whitney alright for a nickname? Yes. There we go. Your partner is a Cubone, and you're a Cyndaquil. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. The only problem is, if we go against a water type, we're both screwed. <laughs> but she'll cover me on rock. That's good, you know? Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. You're finally awake. Great. Ugh. W where is this? You are passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Whitney. Happy to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around here before. Huh? You say you're a human? But you look like... A normal Cyndaquil in every way. It, it's true. I have turned into a Cyndaquil. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. <laughs> your name? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... <laughs> Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil the Cyndaquil, huh? Guess your parents lacked in the creativity department. <laughs> <laughs> oh, name is Rex. <laughs> Is Rec okay? Yes. Oh, Rec's your name. Well, isn't it a funny name? Somebody, please help me. Huh? I hear shouts from over there. 
What's wrong? It's horrible. My caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened in the ground, and my caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the fissure. They're out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear. Oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. I like the art style. Like it's made to look kind of like a um a book, you know. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is. It's a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but you'll have to find the stairs first. And you remember the that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Rec. Try walking using. Try using the left stick to walk. You can also move with the buttons or whatever you got. Let's see. Okay, so, like... Interesting. That one's sleeping. So, like... Use a move with A! Go with that ember. It's super effective. It freaking fainted. We're good. I'm not going to read all those out. Yo! What? Ugh. You did that from across the area. Chill out. Also, you're not next to me. I do remember how this game goes. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Ha! 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 Take this! Take this! I'm a freaking Link... Ugh. I'm a Zelda character. Let's go. <laughs> Very interesting. Like, um... It does move like the um, original game. Kind of. Would you like to go on? Yeah, of course. Don't know if the enemy count is the same. You, yellow. Teammates, green. Items, blue. Enemy, Pokemon are red. Stairs are white. Okay, so... That's neat. You laid out most of those really quickly, Ember. Alright. Okay, is the money of this world. You can use it when you want to buy something. Cool. I got 150 of the thing. The screen is very cluttered. How does this work? Useful shortcuts. Uh, message log. Oh, I can just see everything. Ooh, that's great. Trap finder? What is... Hold up. I need to... I have a move called trap finder? I can check and see what's underfoot, look around the entire room you're in, view hints and change, use your items. Nah, but seriously, what is what does that mean? I have the move called Trap Finder. It damages an enemy, it resets to two tiles. That's quick attack. Hold up. Oh, I have not been using these moves. I've just been using Ember, right? These do two tiles away. I could technically hit. Okay, but why am I... How am I using that ability to literally look around the whole cave? Eat an orange berry to restore some HP. To eat one, press X to open the Ets, the Ets menu. And then select bag. I have a full selection of moves, and I don't know how to feel about it. One being a double kick, so screw you, rock types. You're just gonna die. And other types? Oh, I don't even remember. Press L for auto mode. Ah! Let's look around. Sure, there's an item this way, so... Oh, there's a sp speed one. Give me that. Yee, 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 yee. Watch me speed through these levels. <laughs> okay, so... This little sun kern thing. Bop! Dead. Shouldn't have been sleeping. Ugh. Would you like to go on? Sure, why not? I ain't doing anything. Okay, so Whitney picked up that. It's coming this way. Fire. You should be dead. Great. And this one's coming this way. 
or not? What the? Hey! Hey! Come back! Where are you going? Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, now we know this is over here, so... There's one over there. Fire. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's more poke. Alright, and I still want to... Alright. Well, now it's kind of... Oh, they're... Coming by, huh? Oh, God. Pop. Okay. Neat. Is that my PP? Let's give it our all. Whoa! Mommy, where are you? Sniffle. We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. Rex successfully completed the rescue at Tiny Woods. Neat. My baby's safe. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It has been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I, I have your names at least. I'm Whitney. And this is Rex. Sparkle. Cool. <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, staring at me adoringly. <laughs> Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad, either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon troll might be a good experience. Thank you, Whitney and Rec. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. You got a tiny Reviver Seed. You got a Pekka Berry. You got 500 Poke. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. So what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Uh... Listen, Rick. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Well, why not? Well, this is the place. Wow! <laughs> I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. Might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. It is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. Doesn't matter, I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a Cyndaquil. Oh, Wreck, you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Wreck. I was sure you would like it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other Pokemon here. Ugh. Excuse me. Ugh. Many Pokemon suffer from these natural disasters, just like the fissure Caterpie fell into. There have been all sorts of natural disasters recently. I want to do good. I want to help Pokemon like that. I want to help make the world a safer place for Pokemon. So, um, well, I saw how good you were when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to form a rescue team with me? I think we could be the world's number one rescue team, Wreck. What do you think? I could refuse, but why would I ever form a rescue team? Okay, done deal. From now on, Wreck, we're partners in our rescue team. I'm so glad. The team's name is... I haven't decided on one. Listen, Wreck, what would be a good name for us? Uh, Specs Specs? What? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Is there a random button? What you got? Courage, Seedlings, Pokemon, wow. Wonder, Excitements, For Help, Treasure, Fluffas, <laughs> Ribbon Clan, Tenacity, Top Squad, Resc, Rescue Stars, hey, I like, <laughs> Efficiency, Top Helpers, Grit, Lucky Pals, Unity, Lightfoot, Sparkly Day, Allies, Wisdom, Treasure, okay, neat. But none of those will suffice. It's gotta be a name that encapsulates both our, of us getting this group together. So I'm fire type, you're ground type. So what should we be? I don't even know. How many letters can I make it? That was a lot for some of those. Um.
Can we be called Trailblazers? Which I guess makes sense. I mean, for one. Woo! Barely. Trailblazers. Trails are made of earth or ground or any of that. And blazers, I'm just going to call, because blazer is literally one of the names I generally call my starter for any of my Pokemon games for fire types. So there we go. And it's fire. <laughs> is trailblazers okay? Let's ask me two words. What do you think? I don't know. Is this going to be stupid if I have it as one word? I feel like it's going to be stupid if I have it as one word. Hold up, everybody. To make sure I'm not being that stupid. Knowing me, it's just going to be that stupid. But I can fix it by just looking it up. It's... Wait, is it two words? I just gotta have that. No, it's... Alright, it could be one word. Is there a definition for it? What does Wikipedia say? Or, like, you know... Is it... No, it's just one word. We'll go with that. Okay. Trailblazers? I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect. Oh, and one more thing. I wanted to wear this on the day I got started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. Rec put on the scarf he got from Whitney. Hey! Looks great. You wear it well, Rec. Don't you feel focused? Like we're on the same team together? Rescue Team Trailblazers. Let's do good starting tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> I can vividly remember all these little poses from when I played on the DS in the little 2D little forms, pixelated forms from this, and it's great. And that is how Wreck and Whitney began their careers together as a rescue team. Yeah! I did it. <laughs>